Designing apps and websites usually means endless mockups, countless revisions, and way too much time spent stuck on Figma and other design tools. But what if you could create a real multi-page project with real user journeys and interactive prototype in just a couple of clicks? Well, that's where Sketchflow comes into play. It's an all-in-one platform for web and app interface design that takes you from idea to polished prototypes faster than ever. Unlike most design tools that only give you static mockups, Sketchflow actually creates an entire multi-page project based on your idea or even just screenshots that you upload. So instead of spending weeks piecing things together, Sketchflow allows you to design, test and share your vision almost instantly. And in this video, I'll explain all about Sketchflow and how it works and it might even change the way you approach product design forever. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is Sketchflow AI and this is the AI tool that I've been talking about. I know for starters, Sketchflow is an AI tool that allows you to create interactive prototype, design and user interfaces for your mobile app or web app just by prompting or by simply uploading a couple of screenshots. I know the cool thing about Sketchflow and one thing I like a lot about Sketchflow is the fact that after you create the initial design, you can actually use the interactive prototype and it will almost feel like as if you're interacting with a finished product. So most of the tools help you to create a static mockup or design, right? Well, Sketchflow is completely different. And after creating the initial design, it gives you a live option to preview and use and experience the design as if it was a live website. I'll show you how that works later in this video. And again, if you too want to create a product design or interactive prototype for your next mobile app or website, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to sketchflow.am and you can go ahead and sign up for a new account. And once you sign up for a new account, this is going to be the kind of interface that you'll see. And now, as you can see, it says AI generate designs and prototypes for your app or website. And now for creating a new project, you have two options. The first one is that you can go ahead and give an in-depth and comprehensive PRD in here and you can select whether you want to create the prototype for web, mobile, desktop or tablet app. And again, you also have the option to select the dimensions as well. Or if you want to, you can also click on this button that says create by image and then drag and drop reference images or screenshots and then you can get going from there. And lastly, you also have yet another option and that is select from library. And if I click on this button right here, it will open a template library and I can find a lot of projects that has been already created. And now if I want to, I can start using any of these in just a single click. For example, let's say this one right here, that is AI MailMate. And if I click on that, it opens up a preview. So there you go. This right here is the workflow. That is the prototype. And here I can also find the design. And let's say if I want to start using it and let's say I want to make changes on top of it and I want to make it my own. Well, all I got to do is to click on this copy to my project option right there and I can start working on the same. But in this video, I'll show you how we can start from scratch. So I'll head back to the homepage and in this case, I'll create by description. But if you want to, you can also upload screenshots and get going as well. And now I have the PRD ready. So I'll paste the same in here. So in this case, I'm actually planning to create an interactive prototype UI and design for a LMS platform called as Edulax. And here we have complete in-depth details like the product introduction, primary users, main use cases, the app functionality. So it is a pretty elaborative one. The more the details that you give in the initial PRD, the better the result is going to be. Now in this case, here I have the entire PRD pasted in and again, I select the web option. In your case, let's say if you want to create a mobile app interface and prototype, you can select this option that says mobile. But in this case, I'll keep it as web and the aspect ratio also looks good. And next up, all I got to do is to click on this send button right here. And now Sketchflow AI gets to work. Okay, so as you can see, it says workflow generating. So let's wait. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. So there you go. The initial workflow is now generated and I can find a full sequence of all the actions and everything in here. And from an engineering perspective, it's actually dope, right? I can now visualize what's happening and I can find relations with each pages and all that. So first of all, here we have a landing page and it says this page serves as the initial entry point for all visitors showcasing Edulax value proposition through featured courses, testimonials and, you know, main details. And then here we have login, sign up and browse courses. And now as you can see, all of these pages are linked to appropriate pages. For example, in here, the main two or three options here are login, sign up and browse courses. And again, here we have login and that leads to this node right here where users can securely login. And in the login page, we have forget password, login success, login instructor, or company admin, sign up and all options. And 
if the login is success it then redirects us to the learner dashboard and if the user forgot the password they can head over to the forget password page and again if they choose to sign up then it goes to the sign up page and after sign up is successful it goes to the learner dashboard so this is the authentication that is user onboarding and authentication flow and now if i scroll down here we have course discovery and enrollment flow so learner dashboard finds the course select the course catalog views the course detail check out and after check out we show enrollment confirmation and here we have learner course engagement flow and okay i can move it around and if i scroll down i mean with just a single prompt the ai has mapped out pretty much all the important pages and user journeys across our app and it has perfectly matched all of that in here for example here we have marketing and platform monetization flow okay so managing coupons manage webinars and events, manage affiliate program. So all of that is in here. And again, here we have support center notifications and all that. And next up, let's just say you want to add any new nodes or make changes to the existing nodes or connect them together. Well, you can do it from here. For example, let's say for the support center, I want to add or let's say edit some details. I can click on this edit option right here. And now I can change the page. I can change the title, the description and also add functions. So right now we only have back to dashboard option. And now in the support center, let's just say I'm going to give call option and also let's say chat option. OK, so these two are different options that I need. And as you can see, both of them are saved. And now I'll click on this plus button right here to create a new node. So basically, I want to create two new nodes. So I'll add the same in here and here I'll click on the edit option and I'll say call and I'll just mention that displays the contact information like the email and phone number to which the customers can call okay so this is basically the functionality of this particular page and now i can simply drag and drop and connect it like this okay next up in the chat one so this is going to be let's say chat page and i'll say interactive live chat widget that customers can use to talk to our support agents through a live chat widget okay that also looks good and now i can map it out like this okay so there you go we have added two custom flows and now in a similar fashion you can actually go ahead and add new nodes or edit and make changes to the existing nodes and once you are happy with the overall structure of your app like the real user journey next up we can start generating the interface so i'm pretty happy with this workflow right here and now as you can see it says please select the product screens you want to generate in the workflow so you have the option to select all the uh, nodes for let's say workflows through which you want to create the pages but in this case i want to generate user interface for all pages so i'll click on this option that says generate all screens all of them are selected and now i'll click on this button that says generate interface towards the top right okay i'll click on the same and now it is in progress and next up it is asking us to select the style so here we have a couple of options the first one is minimalism then we have flat design, then we have modern business, classic, futuristic and cyber UI. OK, I kind of like this futuristic and cyber UI, so I'll keep it as futuristic and cyber UI. And next up, if you want to make any changes to the style description in here, you can enter them in here. And now I'll click on this generate interface button right here. OK, so there you go. It is generating content. Please wait. And now we have selected specific pages that we want to generate and we also selected the style and also give a style description. And right now the AI within Sketchflow is designing all the pages. And as you can see, we have around 41 pages that the AI have to design from scratch. And you'll be able to find a live preview of the same after the AI is done. And as you can see, it says generating content. Please wait. And now it will take some time for the AI to create the entire design interface for all these pages. So I'll wait till it is done and I'll see you afterwards. All right. So there you go. It took about three to five minutes for Sketchflow to map out and design interface for some of these pages. Not everything is in here, but it's OK. If I click on this generate all interface button, it will do it. And now I can find a live preview of the interface or let's say the design that the AI has created. And this right here is, I believe, the course catalog page. And again, we need to change or add images here. And this right here is the course details page and it says advanced quantum computing. All right. And now, for example, let's say for this course catalog page right now, we don't really have any images, right? And towards the right side, we have an option that says AI assistant. And here we can change the page name, the description. And if we want to, we can regenerate it. But in the smart mapping section here, we have a couple of options. 
The first one is that generate image for current page and then we also have a second option that says provide pictures for all pages. And now if I click on this generate image for the current page option, the AI itself will find and add and replace all these placeholders with actual images. For example, I'll click on this generate image for the current page option right here. And now it is now drawing pictures for the current interface. Uh, so let's wait for it. So there you go. The AI has generated all the image for the page and I can find a live preview of the same. So it has actually generated the background image, the featured courses image and also thumbnail images for all these courses. And I can find all of that in here. And now you can repeat the exact same steps for all these pages and add images. And now even after generating the design, you have complete freedom and you can totally customize the page however you want to. So right now I have selected this course catalog page right here. And if I click on this layer option right here, and if I expand the same, I'll be able to find individual layers for this particular page. For example, let's say I want to make some modifications to this text right here that says course catalog. So I can select the same. And now I can simply ask the AI to make changes by entering a description in here. Or maybe I can select, let's say this section right here, or let's say this section. And now I can ask the AI to make any sort of changes. For example, let's say I want to change the background of this filter div that is filter tab white. Well, I can simply go ahead and say, well, let's say a lighter shade, change the background of the filter tab to something light, let's say a off white kind of a color. So there you go. As you can see, I have changed the background of this filters tab to a off white kind of a color and I was able to make changes. And now in a similar fashion, I can select each and every elements within this page and I can also find a layer wise split up of these div and all these containers, all these elements in here. For example, let's say I want to change the color, the alignment, the radius or whatever that is. I can completely edit that in here by selecting the element and then giving a description as to how to or let's say what kind of changes to make in this input box right here. And as you can see here, we can find the complete layer information. And now let me go ahead and let's say open a different page. So this right here is the lessons page. So here we have a video player, the title, lesson details, discussions, QA, up next course references and all that. And again, if you want to add any new changes or make any modifications, you can just tell the AI assistant, give an updated prompt and regenerate. Or if you want to replace all these images and add custom images, you can select these two options that is generate image for current page and provide pictures for all pages. And again, if you want to change the styling, you can click on this choose a style option and select a different style. And right now we actually selected this futuristic cyber UI. And again, as you can see here, we have that futuristic cyberpunk kind of cyber UI everywhere with the neon accents and all that. And it actually looks really great. And now if I move to this design tab right here, I'll be able to select an individual element and make changes to it directly. And now you have a couple of options. So if you want to, you can just ask the AI agent to make changes and it will gladly do it for you. And now if I click on this design option and let's say I select this button right here that says start new lesson. Now I'll get a couple of options like flex, dimensions, typography, appearance, fill and stroke. And now I can adjust all of that in here. For example, I can adjust the display settings like flex and all that. I can adjust the dimensions. So right now it is width, auto, height, uh, minimum width, minimum height, margin, padding. And right now all of that looks good. Maybe if you want to change the phone family to something like let's say Arial black or let's say impact as you can see the font is getting changed in real time for example i'll keep it as helvetica font size looks good next up let's just say i want to next up let's just say i want to change the color to let's say white well i can change the color like this i mean i can do any sort of modifications in here i can change the appearance opacity then i can change the fill and also stroke details in here and now if i move to the interactions tab i can give a custom title and id for this particular element and in a similar fashion, you can select each and every element within this particular page and now move to the design tab and you can use these uh, options right here to make any sort of changes, just like working in Figma. Sketchflow gives you both the options. So if you want the AI to make changes, well, you can move to the AI assistant tab or if you want to manually make changes, you can move to the design tab right here. I know my personal favorite feature of Sketchflow has to be the ability to preview this page as if it was a live site. Well. Towards the top, I can find a button that says preview. And now if I click on the same, it opens up a preview page like this. And now as you can see all these animations, all these colors, or pretty much everything is functional here, right? For example, if I click on this explore courses page, it will now take me to that corresponding page. So this writer is the explore courses page. And if I click on this one of these pages, 
it opens up the course details page and if i click on this enroll now button wow that animation effect was good and again it takes me to the secure checkout page right here and now if we click on the support button towards the top it will now take us to the support page that we created right and now if you remember correctly we added two options right that is live chat and call support and these two were custom notes that we added like in the workflow and now if i click on this live chat option it opens up the live chat widget that we asked and there you go here it has uh designed the same and again if i select the call option there you go here we have the support via email and support via phone options so pretty much all the pages are in here and now i can make changes and this interactive ui where i can interact with the ui in real time and also move between pages and if i click on this add new coupon even the pop-up opens up so right now it almost feels like a finished product See how how good it is right for example i just started with a simple prompt and i selected all the workflow and then i clicked on one single button and here we have fully fledged live ui and we can interact with it that is the even cooler part i know the only thing that is missing right now is a backend so once you have the front end ready like the prototype and ui ready you can go ahead and add your backend and get going from there and now as you can see this right here is the discussion forum and now i can move to all these pages like different pages by selecting all these pages and view the content and again if i click on this close preview button okay so this right here is the page that appears after our uh, enrollment is confirmed and if i want to make changes to any of these elements well i can select the same move to the design tab and make manual changes or i can ask the ai assistant for example let's say i want to add a blue gradient background to this particular page well i can select the div and now i can say i want to add a blue gradient background to this particular page right here and now i'll click on this regenerate button and let's wait so there you go we asked the ai to add a blue gradient background and here we already have it and next up if you want to make changes to any page well you can select the page and get going from here so this right here is discussion forum and all of that is in here and next up if you click on this export button towards the top you will get a couple of options you can either export it as a sketch file or html demo package so in this case let's just say i want to export it as a html demo package so i can select the second option and i'll click on the confirm export button and let's see so it says exporting please be patient and there you go as you can see i have downloaded the zip file and extracted the content and here i can find the, all the html pages so basically i clicked on this export button like the whole point is that after you are done with the design you can export it in the sketch format or html and if you click on either one of these options and click on the confirm export option the file will get downloaded to your computer and now in this case i download the html file and here i can find the html content for almost all the pages and now this is how simple it is to create a interactive prototype and design user interface for your mobile app or web app in just a couple of clicks entirely using ai so you just have to describe what kind of website you want what are the pages that you want how the user journey should look like and after that you can use ai to generate ui for all the pages within your app and not just that even after generating the page you can edit it completely and make changes and make it your way so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video so if you are about to let's say create a new project and if you want to create a prototype like a live prototype with user journeys and interactive ui well all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below head over to sketchflow.ai sign up for a new account and after that you can go ahead and give a detailed description or click on this option that says create by image and you have the option to upload screenshots and then you can just upload all these details and with the press of a button the ai creates the workflow and now if you want to make any modifications you can do that and in just a single click the ai will create the user interface for all the workflows that you configured i know that's how simple it is and now this is all i wanted to show you in this video so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one